Right now, we go upstairs to track announcer Kurt Becker. When one looks at Richie Silverman, he sees or she sees not only a young man, but a young man who is full of ambition. Silverman has driven primarily New Jersey, New York breads. He's anxious to branch out into other programs, but more importantly, he is focused on a Breeders' Crown win with Summer Child. Two-year-old pacing fillies in behind. They're off and pacing on the inside. Summer Child first away from the outside between fillies out second. Hazelton K. She will drop in and get a trip. Away third is Ghostly. Four is Tabloid. Racing five on the outside. Hunting cover. Long's pleasure, now we'll find it. Racing six, Gold Coast. Seven on the inside, Success Road. And eight, Farm Girl Hanover at the back. As that field scoots toward the quarter mile mark. The leader, Summer Child, by a length and a half. Hazelton K, stalking her second. Three lengths all her, racing third. Past the quarter is Ghostly. They were there at 27-4. They're racing toward the half mile mark. Pacing four is Tabloid. Racing five to the outside. Here comes Long's pleasure. Six right behind her is Gold Coast. Racing seven on the Rail sneaking up from Success Road and eight Farm Girl Hanover at the back there in the lower third. The leader Summer Child by a length and a half. Hazelton K still there second now tipping off the rail. Here comes Hazelton K at the half mile mark. Racing third behind her is Tabloid. The half and 56 and three. They're driving down the back stretch. Four is Ghostly. Five on the outside as they race toward three quarters. Long pleasure and the new leader on the outside as they race that way will be Hazelton K. John. Campbell by a length and a half. Summer Child has been headed. She's second. On the outside, Tabloid third is still moving for Doug Brown. Four behind them at three quarters comes Long's Pleasure. She still has pace. She will have to come three wide. Racing five, Ghostly shutting back midfield. Three quarters, 124, three fifths. The leader, Hazelton K. She's on top by two lengths. They turn for home now by three lengths. And it's all oh, Hazelton K, top of the lane. Tabloid is next. On the outside, racing third. The leader, Hazelton A, from the first crop by the $2 million plus winning Big Lovell. Hazelton A on top by a length and a half. Racing next, Long Pleasure Drive, Hazelton A in 153 and 4, just a tick off the world record. Home second, Long Pleasure finishing third with Gold Coast. The same connections as Miss Easy, and John Campbell has his third victory of the night. The two-year-old filly by Jeet Lobel out of the Niatros Mare season premiere. Hazelton K gets to the winner's circle for Bruce Nichols, driver John Campbell, and owner Rose Guida and Royal Palm Stables. And it was anything but easy for Hazelton K here, but John moved her at just the right spot because Tabloid was coming up on his outside, and she's proven that she can indeed go a first over trip as she did last week in the eliminations, and John pulled her at just the right time. Summer Child, I think, burned herself out a little bit early. And you see, John is certainly into her here. Hazelton K at this point has about two or three on the field, but Long's Pleasure is closing strongly on the outside, coming from off the pace well off those quick early fractions uh, through the first half of the mile. But Hazelton K was equal to the task tonight, and she does indeed give John his third winner. So Bruce Nichols, the trainer of Hazelton K, he has a way with the ladies, Gary. Central Park West, Miss Easy, Roses are Red. Hazelton K, your race winner tonight, won last week in 154 and 1, and tonight just one fifth off the world record of 153 and 3. John Campbell gets his third win of the night. So the $100 million man is continuing to roll. And the re record remains intact. Only one American-born driver, Bill Fay, has won this event. And here's a look at John Campbell's new numbers. He's well on his way to $101 million. Having a remarkable night. Campbell now with 19 Breeders' Crown victories in his career. And Hazelton K, his most recent prize recruit. We'll be back. You think so?
Hazelton K. A bittersweet story here for breeder Lou Guida. Guida sold Hazelton K's mare season premiere before Hazelton K started showing her stuff. When he tried to buy her back, discovered she had died. Right now, let's go to John Pavlock. All right, down here in the winner's circle, Bruce Nichols. The question is obvious, and uh, I'm going to put you on the spot. Compare the two fillies we just saw win. This easy, I think, is probably the greatest filly that's ever wore a bridle. This filly is great, and she can go more than that. But, you know, to, to replace Miss Easy is going to be a tough, tough job. But this filly here will keep everybody honest. She races from the front. She races from behind. She can do just about anything, it looks like. When they're good, you can do anything with them, especially when they're healthy. Let's get Rose Guida and her husband, Lou, to talk to the connections here. I'll ask you the same question, I, I, or maybe a better one. How do you find the good fillies year after year? Well, we just... Just keep looking, that's all. <laughs> we go through the catalog very carefully, and Lou and I, you know, work together, and we pick them out. We bred this one, though. This one we bred. And we named after my mother-in-law, Hazelton Kay, who I hope is watching. It was very important for us that we won tonight for Rose's mother. But I bred this filly, and Rose named her after her mother, so it's a special meaning for this filly to win. Hi, Mom. From the winner's circle in the Breeders' Crown at Pompano Park. Back to you, Bruce. Thank you very much, John Pavlik. And I think John Campbell and Paula are hogging the winner's circle tonight. They have been there quite often, and they are smiling boldly. They certainly are. And, of course, uh, Lou Guida and his wife Rose and uh, Bruce and Joanne Nichols have been in there just about as much tonight. Hazelton K returning $6, $4.40 and $3.40. Logs Pleasure second, $8.40 and $6.20. Gold Coast finished third, $6.80. At the time of the mile, 153 and four and as I mentioned earlier one fifth off of a track record and a world record and there's Lou Guide and John Campbell and a picture tells a thousand stories Roy Davis one of the great owners from Pennsylvania also in the winner's circle he is a member of the Hamiltonian Society and also making the presentation there is Steve Dillon big brothers big sisters of America short break back with more in a moment So Hazelton K, your race winner tonight in the two-year-old Philly Pace, an impressive mile of 153 and four, and I think it's fair to say at this point in time that Hazelton K should have a pretty good shot at divisional honors. Here's the final order of finish.